on the I in LGBTIQA uh, or plus and there's a lot of myths and misconceptions and misinformation about intersex people and as a result uh, this sparked the formation of Intersex South Africa. Now this is an organization that provides a safe space for the development of an intersex voice in Southern Africa and to combat discrimination on such grounds. So uh, ahead of Intersex Awareness Day taking place next weekend as well as International Intersex Solidarity Day uh, that happens on November 8. We have invited ESA or IWSA activist Gitumezi Skonta who joins us in our Kimberley studios. A very good morning to you Gitumezi and thank you so much for making the time uh, to come on the show this morning. Uh, now I think before we can really get into um, this conversation, uh, maybe start by helping us understand what it means to be intersex, what it means to be born intersex. Okay, uh, could you please repeat the question, Maggie? What does it mean um, in your terms, as far as your understanding, to be born intersex? Being born intersex means being born with sex characteristics that does not fit the typical definitions of male or female, but that fits the variety of bodily. Could you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Please continue. Okay. Being intersex means being born with a sex characteristics that does not fit the typical, the typical definition of male or female, female variations, but which is biologically, bodily variations. And in the practical of sense... Sex characteristical. Okay, could you give us some, some, some practical examples of, of what you mean by that, just uh, to, to simplify it for us? Okay. The practical examples of, be, of simplifying all this means that most people think that when you're born into sex, you were born with both genitalia that is both functional and such mis misconceptions lead to leads to assumptions and assumptions leads to curiosity whereby people would want to know whether both genitalia are functional i see all right, so Intersex South Africa was founded by the late Sally Gross almost 20 years ago. We now fast forward to 2019. What, what strides do you think have been made thus far in creating awareness about understanding intersex persons, if there's been enough awareness to begin with? Okay, it's, as Isa, Isa engages in a lot of activities where they raise awareness of the existence of intersex people which which creates which includes media visibility social media campaigns and dialogues with policy makers in order to change laws which is more affirming for intersex persons now, when we look at, for example, we are, we all, yes, go ahead. We also work with other organizations who sense who sensitize who sensitizes in who sensitizes in working with intersex individuals who also helps us with outreach programs and helps us reach reach our our goals as helping intersex people intersex people in order to create affirming laws. Now, the birth of an intersex infant, for example, is something that is still pretty much uh, a taboo. It's something that is seen as unnatural in many parts of the world. Uh, how far would you say we are, specifically in the South African t context, in terms of educating people uh, about the subject? We, we as ISA, we try our best. We try our best to inform the public about intersex births, that they are just a natural body diversity. So we also, we also give 
we also we also give a, a support. We all we also make. Uh, it's cutting. Hello. All right. Uh, apologies uh, there to uh, our viewers as well as uh, Gitu Metsi, who seems to be just struggling uh, with uh, hearing us, and uh, is uh, uh, we are battling there with uh, some technical issues. A very tough conversation that needs to be taken uh, seriously, and we hope uh, that we will be able to speak to her in the future. Um, there's a lot that still needs to be spoken about within our communities in terms of sharing knowledge and information. Uh, now we were chatting to Gitu Metsi, um, who is from intersex south africa um and we we're talking about what it means to be born intersex in this country we take a quick break uh, do stay with us on morning live